Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for joining us at Mobile World Congress 2014. As you can see from the crowd here today, the excitement is positively palpable. We saw Lumia sales double year on year, led by the Lumia 520 and the Lumia 1020, a number of which I see right here in the front row taking great pictures. We've added some fantastic applications to the Windows Phone ecosystem, including Instagram, Vine, Mint, Path, and Subway Surfers. My first introduction today, I'm very proud to show this device, is the new Nokia 220, our most affordable internet-ready mobile phone. But we have not forgotten the basics. The Nokia 220 is available in single and dual SIM variants. Dual, swim, dual SIM, as you know, lets people swap the SIM cards on the go. And we give it many of the great Nokia essentials. Introducing the Nokia Asha 230, our most affordable Asha touch device ever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new Nokia X and the Nokia X Plus. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. All right. These are two beautifully designed, affordable Nokia smartphones that both of them run Android applications. They include unique Nokia experiences, and they include a wide array of popular Microsoft services. Now, we've preloaded some great applications on the Nokia X family. Plus, the Nokia X and X Plus are built on the Android open source project software, which means people have access to hundreds of thousands of applications right out of the box. As well, the Nokia X and X Plus introduce people to signature Nokia experiences, like Hear Maps, and Nokia Mix Radio, Q Mix Radio team. Okay. <laughs> so if I swipe across to my fast lane, the fast lane is a fantastic element of the Nokia X experience. It basically keeps track of everything I'm doing on my phone. So all my favorite apps are always close at hand, and it makes it faster and smoother to switch between all of those apps. I'm pleased to announce that we have a third Nokia X device, the Nokia XL. So ladies and gentlemen, the Nokia XL with a gorgeous five-inch IPS WVGA capacitive touchscreen, two megapixel front-facing camera, which is just perfect for those Skype video calls. And then as we go to the back and you see this gorgeous standout design, 